ya mayange. Mtazamaji tukiendelea kinara wa Azimio Raila Odinga ameshtumu vikali jinsi maafisa usalama walivyokabiliana na waandamanaji siku ya Jumatatu ambayo ni hapo jana. Odinga anasema kwamba polisi walitumia nguvu kupita kiasi. Inspector General wa polisi Jafet Kome hata hivyo amewatetea maafisa wa polisi akisema polisi walitekeleza wajibu wao kisheria licha ya kuchokozwa na waandamanaji. Polisi wanadai mtu mmoja aliaga dunia huku wengine 238 wakitiwa mbaroni kando na polisi 31 kujeruhiwa wakati wa maandamano hayo. Vitoa machozi na malori ya maji. Kwa upande mmoja maafisa wa polisi wakifanya kila wawezalo kuwazuia wafuasi wa Azimio dhidi ya kuingia mitaani. Kwa upande mwingine wafuasi wa Azimio wakiwapora polisi kwa mawe wakiziba barabara na kuwasha moto. Kulingana na taarifa ya Inspector General wa Polisi Jafet Kome, mtu mmoja aliuawa watu 238 wakati wa mbaroni huku maafisa wa usalama 31 jijini Kisumu na Nairobi wakipata majeraha kando na magari kumi ya polisi kuharibiwa. That brutality witness yesterday does not belong to this country. It is the more, more disgusting because the citizens were acting within the provisions of the constitution. William Mayange, mwanafunzi wa mwaka wa tatu katika chuo kikuu cha Maseno, akipoteza maisha wakati wa maandamano hayo katika kaunti ya Kisumu baada ya kudaiwa kupigwa risasi na polisi. Stories kama hizi ni za miaka ya kale. We don't expect these stories under modern constitution 2010. We are going for individual responsibility and culpability against officers who acted against the constitution. So far, we have a case to file individual charges against Mr. Adamson Bungei, the Nairobi police chief. We'll press these charges locally and internationally. That's why we are commending the many police officers who showed restraint but cautioning the ones who deliberately broke the law that we shall deal with them in accordance with the law and we have given instructions to our lawyers inspector general wa police jafet kome aidha amewatetea polisi akisema walitekeleza wajibu wao kwa mujibu wa sheria Kome ametaja makabiliano kati ya polisi na wafuasi wa Azimio jijini Kisumu na Nairobi kuwa ya kulemaza uchumi na kuwapa polisi kibarua cha ziada. Maandamano sasa yakitarajiwa kufanyika kila Jumatatu na Alhamisi. Makabiliano zaidi yanatarajiwa kati ya polisi na waandamanaji. Alano Chanda KTN News. Na mtazamaji tutarejelea taarifa zingine ambazo zinafungamana na maandamano ya hapo jana lakini sasa